They basically made a young justice for five minutes. Hear me out. In Flash 797, Wallace West was tasked with babysitting Wally West's kids. Wally West being the Flash right now and Wallace being the Kid Flash. That's really the only context you need to enjoy this. Let's get into the audio drama of the reading of Flash 797 right here at Comic Story, and, and don't forget to support your local comic book store. Up in the snowy mountains, Wallace puts a hand to his ear, arguing with Wally that he won't be babysitting. It's a long pause as Wally makes his case. Really? Okay, for that, I'll do it. Wallace finally agrees, turning with a smile as he hangs up. He must be really desperate to agree to that. Well, guess I'm on babysitting duty. Meanwhile, Jai, Irie, and Maxine come rushing out of their school, planning for their sleepover tonight. One that Jai is particularly happy about. But they're shocked to find Wallace waiting for them outside. Where's mom and dad? Irie asks as the kids run up to their uncle Wallace. They wanted a date night, so I agreed to watch you for a few hours. Wallace explains what's going on, and the kids cheer about their night of pizza, ice cream, and patrolling. But Wallace looks at them in surprise. Patrol? No, there's no patrol. Wait, Maxine's coming over? He begins to question, and Jai smiles at his uncle. My dad totally hosed you on this one, didn't he? Wallace finally relents, turning away, telling the kids that they're off to get pizza, but he doesn't see them start to glow behind him. As he turns back, all three of the kids have disappeared into a purple light. Oh, already? I am so in trouble, Wallace whispers. The kids are pulled through the portal, yelling as they feel their bodies trying to split. Finally, they're dumped onto the ground and they look around in surprise. Hello, kids. It's been a while. Knives Maroney says as he steps out of the shadows, a hideous smile playing on his youthful face. What do you want, Knives? Jai snaps, stepping forward to protect his sister. But Knives pulls out a knife and begins to hold up a strange purple belt, explaining to the children that he now holds a piece of the Eternity Mind. With it, you can retrieve anything from time and space. No fuss, no muss. So I thought I'd try it out on you! He shouts with glee, and the kids look in surprise as other villains step out of the shadows and Knives motions to them. Allow me to introduce you to your enemies from the past, present, and future. He shouts as he introduces Dr. Nightmare, Reverse Grodd, Mineral Man, Foul Play, and Heatwave Jr. The villains begin to whisper amongst themselves, trying to figure out why there aren't more members of the Super Kids here. But Knives tells them that they will kill these three and the team will never get formed. Meanwhile, back in the main universe, Wallace is headed over to Mr. Terrifics. He begins to ask the superheroic genius for help in finding his young charges. But that's just the B-plot of how Wallace is going to save them. Let's get back to the fun stuff in the multiverse. Over with that, the villains are deciding who should get the first crack at killing the young heroes, unaware that another pair is watching them from the shadows. As the villains continue to argue, a young Robin and John Kent jump down. Sorry guys, the Super Sons are here to save the day. Superboy shouts with Robin tossing batterings at Dr. Nightmare while Superboy knocks the wind out of foul play. But a blow from Reverse Grodd sends him spinning into Irie. Sorry about that, John says. And hi, blushing at the girl. But before he can react, Jai rushes to Grodd, punching him hard. No one hits my sister! We need that eternal mind, Robin shouts as he swings through the air. Irie doesn't hesitate, using her super speed to change into her costume and steal the eternity mind out of Knives' hands. No, not again, she can't get away, Dr. Nightmare shouts, beginning to use his powers to create a massive monster that is charging at them. Let's go, like now! Irie shouts and the young heroes charge away. But back in the main universe, Mr. Terrific has created a portal that would allow Wallace to find the kids. Linda's going to kill me. Have you ever seen her angry? It's not cool, man. Not cool at all. He whispers, but Mr. Terrific looks at him as he activates the portal. She won't kill you, but you may have to leave the dimension. He offers as a way of hope. Wallace thanks him, stepping through the portal, promising that he'll find the kids alive. Just so I can kill them! He shouts as he disappears. He drops out of the portal into the strange dimension, and whirling around, he finds the team of supervillains that immediately rushes at him. Not what I was expecting, he shouts as he begins to run. Meanwhile, the kids have rushed down something called the Forever Corridor. Iris suggests that they take a break, but Robin insists that they continue forward until they can figure out how to activate the Eternity Mind. Once I turn it on, we can summon our dads or more competent heroes to help us out. The kids all begin to argue, but John finally convinces the Flash children that they need to stick with Robin, that he is one of the greatest heroes that he has ever met. 
Meanwhile, Ace is continuing to fight the villains. Where are the kids? He shouts, speeding along, punching Dr. Nightmare. But Knives manages to catch him from behind, knocking him to the ground. No idea, but at least we have bait to catch them now, he says with a smile as the villains close in on the downed Wallace. The kids continue through the fortress, with Irie explaining to John and Damien that Knives referred to them as the Super Kids. That must mean that we're some kind of like super team eventually, she says happily. But Damien shakes his head. I don't do teams. He explains when suddenly the air is filled with the sound of Knives' voice. Hey, Super Kids! I know you're someplace in this palace. So is your friend! The kid with the yellow costume and the lightning bolt on his chest. I don't want to have to kill him. I'll let him go provided you come back and give us the eternity mind! Knives shouts. The kids aren't sure what to do, but it's Jai who comes up with the plan. Irie, you know how Dad gets upset when we both talk to him at the same time? The young hero says with a smile. Moments later, the super kids have returned to the villains and toss knives the Eternity Mind. As the mobster holds up the magical item, a voice fills the palace. I am the Eternity Mind. All that is can be again. You just have to ask. The voice calls out. The kids don't hesitate, immediately shouting for things, filling up the palace with the large animals and fog from Coastal City. As everyone begins to fight in the confusion, Irie rushes over to Wallace's side. Don't worry, Uncle Ace. We'll get you out of here, she promises. Now freed, Wallace continues running forward and punches Knives in the face, knocking the Eternity Mind back into the hands of Robin. Eternity Mind! Send these villains to the nearest jail in their city of origin! Robin shouts out, and with a bright light, the room is filled and the villains disappear. Everyone cheers in victory, but Wallace opens up a portal to return them home and orders the kids inside, not wanting to deal with the wrath of Linda. The kids promise to see each other again and act as a team before disappearing into the portal. Alone, John looks at Damien. All right, can we go home now? He asks, and Damien agrees, asking the Eternity Mind to return them home. But as the young heroes disappear, the Eternity Mind stays dropping to the floor. All is quiet for a moment before a booted figure steps out of the shadows, receiving the strange item. Oh, what a wonderful little jewel. It can bring anything and anyone from time and space. How lovely! The old woman says as she reaches down, picking up the stone. Granny Goodness could use a new recruitment tool. The evil warrior from Apocalypse says with a sinister smile. So I know this is a shorter episode because simply put, it's this one issue, Flash 797. You want to check it out yourself, I highly recommend it. But the entire Wally West run that has been going on by Jeremy Adams has been incredible. And this is one of my favorite issues. It was fun to see the Super Sons back, which really makes me confused. What is DC doing with the Super Sons? Are they coming back? Are they not? Are they just going to keep being time displaced? Who the hell knows? But anyway, let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, I'll link the entire playlist of the Wally West Flash run down below. But I also recommend you check out our One Minute War video, and you can also check out the storyline in which Wally West fought against the Justice League Dark. So yeah, cool fun Flash stuff. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time right here at the Comic Story Channel.